my friend, come here. Before you go all like, oh my God, she's the one. From the moment I saw her, I knew I wanted to marry her. I've been saving up all this time to buy a ring so we can finally be together forever and ever and ever. Before you go and waste your money on that ring, I want you to do one thing for me. I want you to take her to either a Jason Drulu, Chris Brown, or an Usher concert. And then you will truly see if she's wifey material or not. You need to take her to one of these concerts. And once the dirty song comes up, you need to watch her every behavior. If Chris Brown starts going, Baby, you never turn it to death. No, no, to, to my bed. And she is looking at him and she's dancing by herself. And she's not looking you in the eye and grinding on you. She's not for you. Save that thousands of dollars you are going to spend on that ring because she is not the one. Now, those days where you ask your friend to text your girl to test her loyalty, those days are gone. This is how loyalty test is in 2024. Now, the man we're talking about today is Chris Brown, the man who destroys relationships, the man who tests the loyalty of a woman. I honestly forgot that he was alive. But we're here to talk about his latest tour, Meet and Greet, VVIP service to the woman, as you can see. So Chris Brown recently started his tour and it is all sold out all the way from 5th of June until July 27th. And for the low price of $1,111, what do you get out of this? Obviously, you get to meet him. You get early entry to the show, photo booth, VIP, laminate, I don't know what this means, breezy calendar, it'll tour gift, I still don't know what this is, but one photo with Chris Brown and two signed personal items only. And you might ask yourself, who in the hell in the right mind would pay this amount of money? That's a whole vacation right there. To, to spend like 10 minutes with Chris Brown. Now, if it was One Direction or Justin Bieber and the teenage girls were jumping up and down, that's completely understandable. But when it, come to, when it comes to adults, it's just, it just becomes pathetic. It's a lot. Even Stoop Dog, what, in 2017, he was charging only $250. Understandable. But $1,111? If I'm meeting Chris Brown and paying him $1,111... He better get on his knees and bark for me. That's the only way I'll be satisfied. And these pictures have led to some consequences and some broken hearts. These poor men either went with their girls or let their girls go on it in a Chris Brown concert or even, even paid for it. And then after that, watching these girls posting these type of pictures with Chris Brown proudly while the guy's jaws are on the floor flabbergasted never exp discovering a new side of their girl now watching chris brown jump up and down on stage it is way different for men and women to us guys it might be like but to girls it will be like oh my god i am so wet chris brown is the man of my dreams i want him in my booty hole right now and chris brown obviously uh, any man wouldn't have mind this situation because if they did they'll be gay but one thing chris brown doesn't realize is who has a husband who has a boyfriend and who doesn't to be fair it's not really chris brown's fault in this situation because he cannot ask every single person do you have a boyfriend do you have a boyfriend the girls come and be like yo grab my ass grab my ass and say cheese on three this is probably someone's wife this is someone's auntie this is someone's mother and obviously when a man finds out that their i don't know wife fiance girlfriend they take in a picture with chris brown like this paid that amount of money to chris brown either with their money or the husband's or the boyfriend's money there will be a lot of arguments in place and in most cases it will lead to a breakup this is one of the pictures that chris brown took with the woman and the boyfriend straight up cold and just left her which mean greet did you have this is from this is from columbus oh columbus yep yeah. literally after my picture went viral my boyfriend broke up with me about a week later after arguing because he felt like Chris was too close on me. I'm just like, it's one of the most respectable pictures. It's all like I was bending over, grabbing my ankles. Um, but I I would trade my ex for me and Chris Brown a hundred more times. So definitely really, really worth it. This is why I say be careful when you choose your partner, boys. It's very tough nowadays because the second they get an opportunity with their celebrity crush or someone better, 
you are going to be left with your dick in your hand and your eyes full of tears. Now, taking a look at this picture, she says is a respectful, one of the respectful pictures out there. It is a little bit more respectful than the ones who are like, grab my ass, grab my ass quick. Now, in this situation, I don't know if Chris came and just hugged her either way and they took a picture or she was like, grab my waist, let's take a cute picture together. But overall, this is a couple's picture and it is extremely in my point of view, extremely disrespectful to the man as well in the relationship. If she was single, sure, sure, go give him Gaga at the back. But she's in a relationship, so she got to respect the relationship. And with the next guy she's about to meet, I hope someone warns the poor guy because he doesn't know what he's getting himself into. This woman's boyfriend also left her for very obvious reason. This is like the ultimate to suspect. At this point, they should just both take off their clothes, make out, and do shakalaka boom boom, honestly. Like, if she would take a big, fat, juicy Indian shit in the guy's mouth, it would have been more respectful than this photo. This is what the husband posted as well after finding out about the photo after it went viral. This was soon to be my fiance. This photo has gone viral. This was her birthday present. In my head, I was convinced that a meet and greet means shaking hands and getting a signed autograph black and white picture or CD. Poor Jared thought that his girlfriend is going to get an autograph like with a pen on a poster or something. Little did he know that autograph meant Chris Brown leaving handprint autographs on his girlfriend's booty cheeks. I am heartbroken, devastated, embarrassed and bamboozled. Once I seen this photo and seen how viral it's gotten and the insensitive, supportive comments of women, I ended the engagement immediately, immediately. Fuck everyone who supported her. And after he finished that text, I have no doubt he went and he put the CD in his stereo of Chris Brown singing, these hoes ain't loyal. Believe it or not, all the women in the comments, well, most women in the comments are supporting this woman and saying oh my god why are guys being so insensitive he's just an insecure man all these men breaking up with their girlfriends over this picture they're just insecure even duke dennis went on his live stream talked about the situation and he was like yes i agree with the woman these men are insecure she was basically saying like all the females were saying the man was insecure you know what i'm saying he should have never broke up with her and to be honest i agree I now, Mr. Dennis Duke, it is not a matter of insecurity in this situation. It is a matter simply of respect. Literally, if you're with someone, they, they love you, they're loyal to you, but if they don't respect you, that doesn't mean shit. I believe respect is above all. It's even above love. If you are a man and you're okay with some other man grabbing your girlfriend's or wife's butt like that, you are not a man. You are a simple vagina. And even if you're out with your girl and your girl like sees an attractive person and you know he's, he's attractive as well. But she tells you that, oh my God, look at that guy. He's so attractive. Ha <laughs> ha. Or you're watching a TV show and a, like a guy comes up who's like really attractive. And she tells you that how attractive he is. Boys, run. I have been in this situation and it is not old jokes and all. She will leave you the second he gives you a chance. And it is extremely disrespectful for a woman to say that. Just save yourself some money, save yourself some time and find a woman who actually understands respect. And like I said, Chris Bond doesn't really care about the situation, how many people he's breaking up. He's just taking the money and just getting rich end of the day. And uh, some of the people, they took some respectable photos, obviously, just like, you know, hand on the shoulder and thumbs up like diehard fans. Those are completely fine. And what is not acceptable is going, grab my butt, grab my butt. Imagine you're the boyfriend or the husband and you paid that amount of money for your, uh, I don't know, wife or girlfriend to take, to meet her on a childhood crush or something. And you wanted, this was her birthday and you wanted her to be happy. And you're like, all right, babe, and on three, one, two, three, say cheese. But even though this whole thing is bad, it also comes with a couple of good things as well. If you want to break up with your girl, but you don't know how, you don't have the balls to tell her face to face, simply you can just take her to one of these concerts. And the second she looks at Chris Brown in the wrong way, 
You belong to the streets. How dare you? How dare you look at him like that? We're done. We're <coughs> we're done. Now, as a famous YouTuber with 12,400 subscribers, I understand Chris Brown's situation from one celebrity to another. He's just doing the things the fans want him to do. And I'm also thinking about hosting a similar thing, traveling all around the world and taking having a meet and greet, taking pictures with you guys. And for me, the price is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be $20. And if you want a little bit of spice, spicing things up, I will spank you for an extra $20. I will let you know the dates that I will be hosting these uh, meet and greets. So you can book it in your calendar and you can save off from now that $20. And it will be a picture you will remember for the rest of your life. Anyways, just wanted to talk about this situation. Chris Brown is getting... Not getting heat for it. He's just being called. This whole thing is pretty sad because he's been charging a lot for this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're too lazy to look for news and entertainment, if you are, if you think two videos a day on this channel is not enough, give my other YouTube channel a follow. Call me Kush. I post like two, three videos on that channel as well from the streams. But yeah, take care of yourself. I'll catch you at the next.